Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Dear students, Assalamu alaikum. This is Dr. Ramna Khatun, your course instructor for the course Plant Ecology with the course code BOARD331. Today, the topic of this lecture is Physiology and Ecology of Nitrogen. First of all, the outline of the lecture. The lecture includes a few points that are role of nitrogen in plants, then various forms of nitrogen in environment and at the end we will discuss about the nitrogen cycle in nature. First of all, a brief introduction about nitrogen. Nitrogen is, nitrogen is a colorless, odorless element It's present in the soil and the rubber feet, in the water we drink and in the air we breathe. In fact, nitrogen is the most abundant element in Earth's atmosphere. Approximately 78% of the atmosphere is nitrogen. Now, students, if we consider the whole globe and as this sphere, we can see here that about 78% of the atmosphere is nitrogen, while the rest of the 22% includes its oxygen, carbon dioxide, and various other gases. So nitrogen is present the most uh, as the most abundant element, that is the 78%. Now role of nitrogen in plants. Nitrogen has very important role both structurally and functionally in the plants. Uh, here I have uh, written a few points uh, to discuss the importance of nitrogen in plants. Uh, first of all, for example, leaves. In leaves, uh, nitrogen is a very important part of the chlorophyll. We know that nitrogen makes a part of the chlorophyll in plants. Chlorophyll is the green part of the leaves and stem, and light energy is taken up by the chlorophyll and used to make sugars for the plant. And then we'll discuss the role of nitrogen in the roots. Uh, nitrogen is found in proteins and enzymes in the roots. They help the nutrients and water to be taken up to the plants. In plant tissue, in the plant growth and development, nitrogen is an important part of the compound which regulates plant growth and development. Nitrogen is also an important part of the plant structure. And in the grains, a protein is the substance which makes us all living matter and protein is stored in the grains, uh, fruits and seed of the plant and these grains and fruits, they are mostly composed of the proteins of course, where the nitrogen is the main part, main structural component of the protein. Plant available nitrogen. Now, students, here we have to focus on the on this point that although nitrogen is present abundantly in the atmosphere that we have previously discussed, that about 70% of nitrogen, 78% uh, of the environment is nitrogen. However, that all the nitrogen is not available to the plants and very few forms of the nitrogen are available to the plants means the plants can use, can intake, can absorb those forms and uh, the, those forms are inorganic. Uh, there, there are three forms that are the nitrites and nitrates and the third one is ammonium. So these are the only forms of the nitrogen that can be taken up by the plants and they can be used by the plants and all the other nitrogen that is uh, present in the environment that is in the form of the molecules, however that is not available to plants. Nitrogen cycle. Nitrogen cycle is a repeating cycle of processes during which nitrogen moves through both living and non-living things, the atmosphere, soil, water, plants, animals, and bacteria. So, uh, in the nitrogen cycle, we will uh, we'll discuss all the phases through which uh, the nitrogen will move between all these things, both living and non-living, that include atmosphere, soil, water, plants, animals, and bacteria. The main stages of the nitrogen cycle are first, uh, first stage is nitrogen fixation. In this stage, nitrogen moves from the atmosphere into the soil. Earth's atmosphere contains a huge pool that is 78% of nitrogen gas, but that is the molecular nitrogen. This nitrogen is unavailable to plants. 
because the gaseous form cannot be used directly by plants without undergoing a transformation. Nitrogen is used by the plants, the nitrogen must be this nitrogen, that is the molecular nitrogen, and two must be transformed through a process called nitrogen fixation. Fixation converts nitrogen in the atmosphere into forms that plants can absorb through their root system. Here I have uh, briefly discussed all the kind of nitrogen fixation that how nitrogen is fixed into its usable or the available form. Uh, mainly there are two categories. The first is the abiotic and other one is the biotic. In abiotic type of nitrogen fixation, we have again two kinds. Number one is the atmosphere that are through the thundering and electric discharge. And the other type is the industrial. In various kind of industrial processes also nitrogen gets fixed. And uh, in biotic type of nitrogen fixation, we have again two main categories that are asymbiotic nitrogen fixation and symbiotic nitrogen fixation. In asymbiotic, uh, there are three major types that are through aerobic bacteria, that is the azotobacter, for example. The next one, next one is the anaerobic bacteria, for example, through Clostridium. And third one is through blue-green algae that include Nostoc and Anabina. In biotic type of nitrogen fixation, uh, and it's a symb symbiotic system, in symbiotic type of nitrogen fixation, the nitrogen gets fixed to root nodules and stem nodules. In root nodules, mostly uh, uh, the um, important bacteria which are involved in the root nodulation are uh, rhizopium and bloody rhizopium, while in stem, stem nodules, is rhizopium are involved in the stem nodule formation and nitrogen is fixed in particular structures that are the nodules. In stage 2, mineralization. Uh, these are the stages of uh, nitrogen cycle. So uh, you must remember that now we are discussing about stage 2. This stage takes place in the soil. Nitrogen moves from organic material such as manure or plant material to an inorganic form of nitrogen that plants can use. Eventually, the plant's nutrients are used up and the plant dies and decomposes. Mineralization happens when microbes act on organic material, such as animal manure or decomposing plant or animal material, and begin to convert it to a form of nitrogen that can be used by the plant. In stage 3, that is the stage of nitrification. This is the third stage. Nitrification occurs in the soil. During nitrification, the ammonia in the soil produced during the mineralization is converted into compounds called nitrites and then nitrates. Nitrates can be used by plants and animals that consume the plants. Some bacteria in the soil can turn ammonia into nitrites. Stage 4 is the immobilization. The fourth stage, sometimes described as the worst of mineralization, these two processes together control the amount of nitrogen in soil. Just like plants, microorganisms are also living things and they need uh, the nitrogen for their food, of course, for, the, for their body requirements as an energy source also. These soil microorganisms pull nitrogen from the soil when the residues of decomposing plants don't contain enough nitrogen. When microorganisms take the ammonium and nitrate, these forms of nitrogen are no longer available to the plants and may cause nitrogen deficiency or a lack of nitrogen. So we have used the term immobilization because uh, this is uh, the available form of the nitrogen that were ammonium and the nitrates that have been taken up by the microbes because they also need nitrogen for their body requirements, for the energy source, uh, but that nitrogen would be immobilized, that would be locked up 
in their bodies and that would be no longer available to the plants. So that stage is known as the immobilization. So this is the ties up, this stage ties up nitrogen in microorganisms. Stage 5 is denitrification. Of course, that is the reverse of the nitrification because in nitrification, the ammonium was converted into the nitrites and then nitrates. While in the denitrification, we'll see that nitrates are converted back into various other forms. In the fifth stage of the nitrogen cycle, nitrogen returns to the air as nitrates are converted into the atmospheric nitrogen by bacteria through the process called denitrification. This, this results in an overall loss of nitrogen from the soil as the gaseous form of nitrogen move into the atmosphere uh, where we have begun the story. Uh, so uh, this was the last stage of the nitrogen cycle and uh, by summing, summing up uh, previous all the stages of the nitrogen cycle uh, we will discuss again briefly. So this is the nitrogen cycle and now first of all I will uh, discuss the point that how nitrogen gains entry into the ecosystem meaning thereby how this molecular nitrogen that is actually unavailable to the plants. This is unavailable form of the nitrogen we know molecular nitrogen and 78% uh, of the atmosphere, uh, this nitrogen, molecular nitrogen. Now, in first mode, this uh, nitrogen will get entry into the, now we can see here, this is the uh, abiotic system through thundering and lightning. And now, student, I would like to share a very interesting thing that actually the molecular nitrogen uh, in N2 two uh, nitrogen atoms are combined uh, through three covalent bonds and that are strongly uh, locked with each other and it high amount of energy to be split up and uh, through lightning we know that temperature is very high and that energy requirement is met and so the molecular nitrogen is uh, the molecule of nitrogen is uh, broken and they come to the soil through conversion into various oxides and then finally convert into the nitrates. In the next way uh, through which nitrogen gain entry into the soil, that is the um, biotic and include the uh, symbiotic nitrogen fixation. We have discussed previously that nitrogen gets uh, fixed through um, biologically and symbiotically through formation of various structural called nodules and through various uh, bacteria that are actually the rhizobium bacteria they reside in the roots of the high plant and in these structures in nodules uh, through the action of these bacteria rhizobium bacteria the nitrogen is converted into the various usable forms and taken up by the plant in the third way third way of the nitrogen gaining into, into the soil, this is the nitrogen fixing bacteria, however this system is non-symbiotic through which the nitrogen get fixed through the soil bacteria and they are actually ammonified and convert into the, convert the molecular nitrogen, the atmospheric nitrogen into the NH4 ammonium ion and after this conversion because ammonium ion is also, uh, it's not an easy to be taken up by the plants. So ammonium ion is converted into the nitrites and then nitrates through the nitrifying bacteria. After this conversion, now this, these nitrates are ready to be taken up by the plants and actually to be assimilated into the plants. Now what will happen to these plants? will take the and will be eaten up by the animals and so after the death and decomposition of these two entities, plants and animals, nitrogen will come, nitrogenous compounds will come into the soil and here they would be decomposed through aerobic and anaerobic bacteria and fungi into various uh, simpler compounds of the nitrogen that may be include ammonium also. And again, this ammonium will be converted to the nitrifying bacteria into the nitrites, and then into nitrates, and again 
this would be the this would be in the, uh, the completion of the nitrogen cycle and uh, the one form through which the nitrogen go back into the environment that is through the denitrifying bacteria and in this way the nitrites will go back into the environment where we have begun the story so in this in the denitrification through the denitrifying bacteria the nitrates will be converted into the molecular nitrogen so this was all the story about the nitrogen cycle and uh, here are few references which i have discussed for the preparation of this presentation and uh, these are the, this is the recommended book if you need further details about the nitrogen cycle and uh, any other phenomena of the nitrogen you can discuss this book and uh, i hope you will get it thank you very much for your uh, concentration thank you